Hey, hey there. there. Welcome back to round four here at Game Swap Mason. Round four. Sorry for the loud stereo or whatever. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? We're just trying to strengthen your ears. That's something you can suggest, I guess. Yeah, those hairs in your ear just grow back. I know really? from experience. No, they don't. In well, fact, well, all they do is turn into ringing, and then that sound never goes away, and you go crazy, and you, like, rip your hair out, and... Why else would I have used a concrete saw for about a year without using earbuds? Well, if uh, DZ is lazy, Niagara is what you call 8-whack, with what looks like to be a triple, triple burning tree start over there. Yeah, I don't know what he's playing white for. Uh, yeah. I did see a lightning helix when you were sideboarding for the last round. Uh, path it's 8-whack. It's path path helix. That is a very pretty human stack. Jeez. Yeah, so far, so pretty. Yeah, uh, that's the only other pair of, uh, or that is the only other Judge Noble hair I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I would say, outside of an SCG, I agree with you. Uh, it's double Burning Tree. Is that a pack foil? Rising candidate? Jeez. Mm -hmm. Burning Tree? Burning Tree? Swing for eight. Yeah, nine, right? I don't think he counts himself with the no, plus. Maybe not. Gotcha. Yeah, you put him down. Yeah. So we promise. I don't think we uh, intentionally chose a fast one for you. They're just the only ones that wanted to play. Yeah. Well, that's okay. That's a good start from uh, Mr. Danny Smith. His name is Danny Smith, not Smite. Uh, that is a really pretty force for him, too. It's an Avacyn Restored Force. Yep. Right yeah. Though. That is a good one. I play it in my Legacy Elves deck because it looks pretty similar to the Dryad Arbor. It looks like they come from like the same forest. Yeah, you're part of the reason Dryad Arbor... Uh, uh, you know, people call for dried over bands. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I try to make it not, you know. I do it for flavor reasons. I don't do it for, you know, trying to get one on my opponent. But mm -hmm. Flint Huff Boar, a nice 3-3 three, three with haste. Attack for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're at three. 3. You're dead to the lightning bolt in his hand. This uh, Aether File is not going to do much. And he's just packing them in. All right. Ewan's clearly much worse without Burning Tree Emissary. Burning Tree and Sarah is a human, so... It is. How, how do we add that to your deck? Uh, maybe with the Precinct guy. What's his name? Uh, right. Hero of... Hero of Precinct 1. If you yeah. do that in the Burning Tree, Burning Tree, you get a bunch of tokens for it. Ooh, baby. That sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, Hero into Burning Tree, Burning Tree, but Reckless. What, what humans do you do with the, the red and the green? Cause, I mean, you can do Reckless, but that's not a human. That does seem sweet with I'll say, Hero, though. I'll say just buffs all those tokens think about what I, what I just said, though. Gosh. So if you go turn two Hero, mm -hmm. turn three, we'll just say two Burning Trees. We'll make it really what if you go turn one Vile, turn two Hero, uh, unta uh, Land, uh, Burning Tree, Burning Tree, Reckless? What is and that? You can also put in Three, a six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen damage? Yeah. All right. So what you're saying is Vile on one. Uh-huh. On turn two, you cast a Hero. Yep. On turn three, you vile in a hero? Is that what you're saying? No, no, you, you don't need a vile. You, I, th I thought you thought you just said put a vile on one. Yeah, so turn one vile, turn two, you put, you use the vile. No, because the vile goes to one. Okay, I messed up. Yeah. Got way too ahead of myself. Yep, so let's just say you have something reasonable. You go turn two, hero. Mm -hmm. Turn three, you go burning tree. Burning tree, bushwhacker. Mm -hmm. That's attacking for three, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep. On turn three. That seems, seems, like a, good. seems like a pretty good uh, number there. So the giveaway today is for Flusterstorm. It's an Iconic Masters. Uh, nice Iconic Masters rare. I don't know where I was going with that, but that's where I ended up. Uh, then uh, we're going to give that away to one of you lucky guys who decided to throw some ticks at it. Yeah, at the end of this round, we will be uh, shipping it out to whoever wins this lucky raffle. Mm-hmm. Uh, anybody that wants to enter, exclamation point enter, we'll get you in. 25 tickets per, and there are a plethora of ways to get points if you don't already have them. Easiest which is with subscribe, to subscribe. If you subscribe, you get 500 points, equivalent to 20 tickets in the raffle. So what do you think sideboards are going to be for these guys? Sideboards from... 
Let's have you start with humans, because okay. I don't even kind of want to guess what's in sure. Danny's deck. Uh, from Colin, Oriok Champion is the first thing I'd include. Oriok Champion is pretty good at blocking and also gaining some life. Um, Staticaster gets all of the Bushwhackers, but it doesn't kill any of the other creatures, so probably don't want to bring Staticaster in. Nothing else seems too impressive out of the board, but Oriok Champion is something else. Yeah, Oriac Champions would be very good. Um, if I had a guess from Danny Smith, we're going to bring in... He probably has, like... Grim Lava Mancer. Yeah. That seems good. <laughs> there's two of them in his hand there, so... I wonder if there's any blazes. I'm like searing your... Searing blaze, searing blood. Maybe I not. Know. I think Double Red might be hard for the deck. Yeah. This seems like uh, one of those hands you keep. Okay, that, that got a lot better now. No, it, no, I, I don't know. Uh, it's it's human two. into rider, though, and it's four lands. Yeah, I mean, when he drew the last two lands, it definitely wasn't good. It was, like, it was it good. started out good. It was like, okay, uh, okay, good. Not Non-Horizon land, I mean, okay. two of them being Horizon oh. Canopies, I think he's going to keep. But yeah. I could yeah. definitely be tempted to mold in this. I probably should mold. I think... Because you're not even going to want to sack you, your Horizon Canopies until... Well, leaving that on top seems pretty good. Back sure, back. but I mean, I don't think Freebooter is that good versus this deck. It's mostly a creature, like, centric. Uh, I want to say combo. It's not really like a combo, but, you yeah. know. We do see that he's got a couple of lightning bolts in hand, so it is going to get one of those. Yeah, it's a creature synergy deck. This turn is just going to be a Curt Ape, right? Uh, probably one of them Lava Mentors, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it. Better. Yeah, you want to do Curt Ape the same turn you're going to do uh, Bushwhacker? Yeah, so with this Lava Mancer here, the best thing that he could have on top is a Thalys Lieutenant to get his champion out of Lava Mancer, right? Yeah, maybe Danny Smith doesn't realize the importance of removing champion before it gets too big. Maybe he goes after the uh, Freebooter to get the bolt back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think Freebooter's honestly too good in this matchup. I think you just kind of want to race him. Just have the bigger board. Or he just has two bolts. And you, know, you kill everything. Okay, it was two bolts instead of uh, two Lava Mancers. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw two Lava Mancers, but... Uh, how about three bolts? You know, the old Thoughtseize problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. He doesn't have another red source, I don't think, though. No, yeah. No? No? No. I'm not sure. It's so hard to see their hands, though they go by so quickly. Yeah. I know there's a temple garden, and I think it's forest. No, is that a vines? Interesting. Oh, he's playing vines? Huh. I mean, I, I, I could say that would make sense. Yeah. Hmm. So if you had another fetch land here, it, it'd be, like, you know, perfect for him. He'd be able to wipe the board, right? I mean, he still can wipe it. He just bolts the champion and then Lava Mancer's the freebooter. He doesn't have two red sources. Oh, does he not? I see that's the problem. He said the fetch land be able to get you a second red source. What? Does he not have another land at all? He fetch does. It's land. Temple Garden. It's Temple Garden. Okay, that's what, that's what the confusion is. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bolt. He's trying to figure out what to bolt. I think you go after champion. Yep. He agrees. Yeah, you, do, you, do you pump fake attack with the Lava Mancer? Uh, no. Uh, you're not attacking with that. Vile on turn three. Nice. Good old turn four Vile. Because okay. he's not casting it now. You're right. Down to 19. Mantis Rider. And uh, to 11. Unfortunately for Colin, a l if he gets a land here... Nope. Say, unfortunately for Colin... He's Danny's got the perfect like you know. Do you know what that green card control is start? What? Besides the vines, Narnum Renegade. <laughs> nice, a Narnum Renegade. Nice. Uh, if only Robert decided to watch. Now he was here playing tonight. Yeah, we'll have to make sure we let him know that there is a Narnum Renegade sighted. Yeah, he get, he gets to miss out on Narnum Renegade. It's a, a right. card he doesn't own. You draw a card. Well. You get a Phantasmal Image. A Meddling Mage. mage. Ooh, that one's going to be pretty good. Anything. Name Lightning Bolt. Yeah, I mean, that's actually what I would need. Make some Lava Mancer that first instead of your Freebooter, so you can keep hitting it in the air. What's this? What's this? 
Oh, plane chase foil. Mailing mage. That's a nice one. We're going to bolt the Mantis Shredder. Not as pretty as the Judge promo, but it's still pretty. I agree. I agree. The Judge promo is much better. The Judge promo is the whole reason I decided to foil the human stack. Because the Judge promo for meddling mage is one of my favorite Judge promos. So naturally you just have to foil the entire deck. Yes. You can't have the only the one foil. Mm -hmm. Naming, Naming Curd Ape. I guess it's a card that he knows is in his hand. He did only know about two lightning bolts when he took one, so the fact that he's cast two more, mm -hmm. I don't know if you name lightning bolt anymore either. I think I'm more scared of the reckless bushwhacker though. So I think I would have named reckless. We're gonna attack with our death toucher. It's oh. gonna deal one point of damage. First blood. Kinda. Or is in Canada? It's technically first blood. Wisely choosing not to block. And then we're just going to play Experiment 1 into Curd Ape. No, we can't Curd Ape. It's just going to be Experiment 1 into Lava Man's activation. Yep. Good old one mana, one mana. Do you think he's playing Pelt Collector? Pelt Collector? I feel like Pelt Collector takes a spot of Experiment 1, so I don't think so. Okay. Is Experiment 1 better than Pelt Collector? Pelt Collector just gets the dice trigger, or Experiment 1 gets the regenerate clause. Yeah, but without it, they're both just one mana, one ones. That don't really have any cause for uh, evolving, whichever way you want to talk, look at it. They both evolve, but just differently. All right, another one. Uh, so Matthew pointing out is evolve his power and toughness. But I believe Pelt Collector Pelt checks Collector's both. Only the power. Oh, is it? Yep. Okay. All right, we drew a spell. I mean, the Pelt Collector would be over Narnum Renegade or Experiment One here. So, I think Nana Renegade is the best side of the group having Death Touch. Yeah, so uh, that's why I was thinking the Pelt Collector would be in place of the uh, Nana Renegade. But this isn't really Zoo, though. This is. Yeah, a little bit different. Yeah, this is 8 Whack. Well, it's not really 8 Whack, it's, I guess, Reckless Bushwhacker. It's 4 Whack. Nia Whack. Let's go with that one. It's wacky human. Wackadoo, wackadee. Curd ape, curd ape. Man, this game's taking much longer. Yes. I was hoping we get two too many games. <laughs> I mean, I feel like now? it's coming down. This Lava Mancer is starting to take over the game. Knick knack, patty whack. Bolt a human. That's how the song ends, right? <laughs> Knick knack, patty whack, bolt a human dead. This old man is now dead. I don't, I'm not very good at songs. You're fired. <laughs> Justin was never hired, but Justin is still fired. I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I've come up with two pretty good uh, choruses. Can somebody please like clip that? I want that to be my new ringtone. <laughs> somebody please clip that and send it to me on Twitter. I would love you forever. You're fired. Well, rip. I guess I'm going home. Can you walk? It's only like five degrees out. <laughs> um, if you're going to do that, please do it in secrecy because Justin's apparently going to ride. Hey, it's that uh, Oyak champion I was talking about. Hey, you're right on time. A little late. I mean, Grim Lava Mancer is not going to be able to beat it. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be able to kill that one. We're going to bolt Meddling Mage so we can hopefully draw a land and Curdy. Want yet another lightning bolt? Pull to Creed? Creed like the band? Like Creed and Clearwater Revival? Like that band? Uh, not that band. Probably not that one. Um, You'd be comparing me to a good band. Though, Assassin's Creed? Are there any music in that? There is definitely music there. Mm -hmm. Creed from The Office? Makes sense. Have you ever watched The Office, Justin? Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, once or twice? Uh, I think I've watched that one like ten times. Through and through. I definitely have watched through How I Met Your Mother much more, though. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to take some good draws here. Hostage Shaker would be pretty sweet. 
Uh, how about basic planes? Well, which basic planes do you find? That um, would how good it is. I think it's little thunder planes. Alright, well, thunder planes. Thunder planes, boys. No, that's an island. That's oh. a boat island. Boat island. Boat island's pretty sweet island. Ooh, baby. A Tarkas command. Nah, I mean, do, you, do you miss that one? But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's got a boat island, so it's fine. I mean, he's dead, but he's dead in style. I mean, is he actually dead? He's, he's dead. I mean, there ain't no coming back from this. You have to get, like, host, no, uh, what is it, Whirly Rogue to jump for another turn? He needs to turn that island into a relevant spell. Yeah. I'm going to target his command. They're all going to get plus one, plus one. I'm going to bolt you. So you go to 11. You've blocked probably experiment one. And you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he goes to two. But he gained one from the red spell being cast. So that Artarchus command that's did a total of seven damage. I say that's not how that card works. So, uh, Oriac Champion's a uh, Soul Warden, right? So he goes to two. Okay, I did my math right the first first time. All right. Uh, I got myself confused with uh, Core Firewalker. Oh, I guess I blocked the current eight. That makes sense. Yeah, that would make sense. Block the red creature with equally enough power and toughness. I guess. Dobbs. Uh, yeah, he's just dead. Dobbs. D O P. Rip. Poor Colin. Who'd have thought? Naya's a little bit faster than humans. A little bit. Oh, well, he's not going for the dead on board plan. I guess he does have a violon too. You can assume there's something there. Yeah, I mean, he's just dead in the next two turns, right? If, I mean, if Danny gets to untap again and one of his creatures go to the graveyard, Colin's just dead anyways, right? Yeah, I mean, Colin is forced to block with both these creatures. Or else he just activates Lava Mancer and kills him. So he takes one, then he activates Lava Mancer. I'll activate Lava Mancer. I mean, it's one of those things you just kind of hope for. He's so far behind, right? So you gotta hope your opponent starts misplaying horrendously at that point. Yeah. That yeah. looked a little rough. Yeah, I'll say that uh, looked pretty good on the Naya side. Nice and quick. Good way to end the night. You know what a better way so. to end the night is? Mm. Raph on a fluster storm. How's that a bad way? No, I said that's a better way to end the night. Better way. I heard bad. It starts with B. Basically the same thing. A better way. How much time we got? Timer is for giveaway. We have six minutes till the giveaway. If you wanna want your chance at getting this here fluster storm that I'm holding. You're going to have to go ahead and hit explanation point enter with a number of points equal or equal to the number of tickets that you can afford off your points. E equal to or less than or just equal to? Equal to. You have to spend all of your points to get this fluster storm. Makes sense. This is the best fluster storm you've ever seen. Look, Cheese Cow knows. All right. Cheese Cow knows. Falls knows. Dig Dug knows. Did Dig Dug go? See, Dig Dug? Oh, kind of messed it up, but... Yeah, he's in there. I see you. He got it right. DZ is lazy. Working out. Yep. Yep. That's a lot of people that are winning these fluster storms, Justin. That, are you going to have that many fluster storms? I don't, I don't have that many you, fluster storms. You said that if they do it, they get one. I want you to understand, yeah, dig they have the chance at getting this one. Dig does. And that sort of stuff. Want to win with one ticket? I mean... That is the appropriate way to win. Yeah, it's like if everybody's entered with one ticket, we had like a 500 person raffle. That'd be pretty, pretty nice. The one, 499 odds. All right, so we got to uh, talk about some stuff to go over this four minutes. What's so, up, Apoa? Justin, how does the banning of KCI impact your decisions when entering a modern tournament in this upcoming month? I am much more likely to play the Phoenix deck again. Okay. Because boy, oh boy, did I hate. Oh, hate playing against KCI. My only losses in the entire Invitational yeah. were to KCI. And then the one in Standard, which it, it was in like garbage time for me. It didn't matter. Mm -hmm. How viable do you think Gates and Standard is going to be? Gates of Blaze is a very good card. I agree with Gates of Blaze being a very good card. I don't think any of the other Gate Synergy cards are good enough to play. Make Gates a viable uh, strategy, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, Guild Summon is actually pretty powerful. 
The issue is all of your lands coming into play tapped. Like, all of your spells essentially cost one mana more than what they cost. Because mm -hmm. you're essentially going to be playing off curve most of them. Yeah, so your three mana spell probably costs four. Once you get, like, you know, to the later part of the game, and you... you have gate Colossus just every turn. I mean, there's that, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, once you make it to turn four or five, your deck's probably in a great position, though. Yeah. Uh, I guess if there's, like, a blue spell that count your, counting your gates to draw a card. There is. You know what Guild Summit does? No, it lets you scry to gates. No, whenever, whenever you a play gate, a gate, you, you draw, draw a card. card. But I thought it did something when it was Matthew, what does Guild Summit do? Let's pull it up. We're just going to have to go and hope. Yep. Alright, yeah. Guild Summit. Enters okay. the battlefield. Tap any number of untapped gates you control. Draw a card for each gate, tap this one. Okay. So Never. you potentially draw one for each gate you have. Yeah, okay, so that's a uh, three mana and then you. I but feel like that could the be. The relevant good, part is uh, whenever you play a gate, you draw a card. Yeah. Seems pretty good with uh, Horse Reaper Prefix. Or well, like Fast Bond. Um, I mean, yeah, that's. He was asking for standard. Neither of those cards are standard legal. Why, why is Fast Bomb not in standard? Please explain. I'm not going to. Right, fair enough. Fast Bomb should be in standard. I would love for it to be in standard. It's like one of my favorite cards. Next buy a box promo. I mean, those are not those are legal and standard, so... I'm ready. It'll be in the Planeswalker deck. I'll say, if that's the case, I feel like we're going to have a serious problem. Why is that? Well, I'm pretty sure it's on the reserve list, for one. No, is it? I guess that makes sense. I think that's the reason it hasn't been reprinted since that one from the vault. Yeah. No, wait, it wasn't even printed in that. It was Eternal Masters, right? Yeah, Fast Bond's never been re reprinted. Did you just say it was in Eternal Masters? Uh, not Eternal Masters, Vintage Masters. Sorry, the online only one. Okay. Fair enough. All right. And then, as a reminder, everybody, we do have this subscriber giveaway at the end of the month. Uh, anybody that subscribes has a chance to win. Uh, currently, we're giving away a Back to Basics. If we get up to 40 subs, it's going to be a Dark Depths. If we get all the way up to 60, it's going to be a Foil Man of Pack Foil Man You want Diabolic Edict in Standard? Mm -hmm. Seems fine. You guys can see the shine on this card, right? It's a I'm being told if we get above 60. We'll so give all away all three. All three. all three. Teddy, why would you want a reliable way to kill a Carnage Tyrant? It's not fun. Uh, there's plenty of... Sacrifice a creature effects already in standard. Yeah, but he wants a two mana way to do it. Then but that's still not like a reliable way. Hunger. Elias MQZ. Thanks Thank for the for follow. Long. Sorry you didn't find us until after you moved out of Cincy area. Uh, with that follow, if you do want to enter this raffle that's going to be given away in 40 seconds, it does give you enough for two tickets. So you might want to go uh, enter two. Next question. Explanation point two. Uh, we're telling him this, and I'm now realizing, remembering that we're on a delay. So hopefully he gets this in time. Interesting. Right. Well, I guess we'll find it's only a 30 second delay. Uh, so it's a 30 second delay, and we gave him 40 seconds. So he's gonna have about 10 seconds to do it. Ooh, drum roll! <laughs> so close, so close. What's up, Browns? He was playing earlier, and right, so I think he scrubbed it. out. And then we will make sure to let him know you say hi. BSK212. RBSK212. Okay, there we go. RBSK212, you won yourself a fluster storm. How much of a chance did you have? A 1.71% chance. Nice. If you can go ahead and message us at Top Deck Productions, we will get your shipping address. To we'll claim you yourself to this plus to storm. So if you really want us to, we can sign it, and that'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Lump All right. Lump Lump wouldn't let me sign it. Lump Lump doesn't like you. That's fair. All yeah. right, well, RBSK, go ahead and message us when you can. We'll send yep. you the, the Fluster Storm. For everybody else, uh, have a good week. If you're going to SAG Indianapolis, Jess and I will see you there. We'll be playing some sweet standard action. Hopefully. Winning and the whole thing. Yeah. That would be sweet. For everybody else, we'll see you next week. Have a good one, guys. Keep on.